What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our Carolina Panthers Madden 24 franchise rebuild. This week, we've got week three. It is a rematch of last year's divisional round defeat. We've got the Carolina Panthers going up against the San Francisco 49ers. Surprisingly, this Niners team is 0-2 to start the season, not having the success they had last year. And of course, our Panthers start the year strong. They are currently 2-0. Some interesting numbers here as the San Francisco 49ers currently rank 30th in the league in passing yards per game, while our Carolina Panthers defense is number two in defensive yards allowed per game. This could be another very good day for our secondary. A very early look at the mock draft is available. Right now they have Zaire Langham going number one overall to the Chicago Bears. And for Carolina, they are projecting Christian Nicholson, a right end out of Michigan State to fall to us at number 17. And coming out of practice, we've got some upgrades. First two, rookie center Abdul Hazleton. We're gonna go power for him. He's up to a 75 overall. And we see one awareness, one pass block power, one run block and one run block power. Next up, we've got outside linebacker Shelton Merritt. We're going to go uh, pass coverage for him. He's up to a 64. And he gets three awareness, one man, and one zone coverage. All right, and this is how the 49ers have come to be 0-2 so far this year. They are led at quarterback by Brock Purdy, who has one touchdown, no interceptions, but only the one touchdown in his first two games. Running, of course, Christian McCaffrey, just under 200 yards and three touchdowns for him. Receiving the dangerous Brandon Ayuk has the one touchdown and 134 yards. George Kittle in second on the team with 63 yards, no touchdowns. Debo Samuel has 50 yards. And Christian has the one catch for 21 yards. Defensively, of course, this team led by Fred Warner. In tackles, he's got 21. Dre Greenlaw has 20. Tackles for loss, Javon Hargrave has three. Nick Bosa has two. Greenlaw, King, and Ford all have one. Sacks, they have two people tied here with a half. That's Bosa and Warner. Not getting after the quarterback at all. And they have one interception on the year, Trejavius Ward. And San Francisco's first round pick this past year, Daniel Gavin. He's a normal development rookie out of Notre Dame, plays free safety. Now let's check out the injury report for the game. Chuba Hubbard, who broke his finger in practice, is not going to be playing today. And for the 49ers, they're going to be without Vince Gallery, who was an excellent kick returner for them last year. I'm pretty sure he scored a touchdown against us. And then Brady Christensen, their left guard, will be out with a broken tailbone for a couple of weeks. So we won't see Christensen or Gallery today. Okay, and we are ready to get this rematch of the NFC Divisional Round playoffs underway. We've got the San Francisco 49ers hosting the Carolina Panthers. Let's go. And welcome to beautiful San Francisco, California, where we've got an excellent game today between the Niners and Panthers. As we take a look at Christian McCaffrey's stats from last week, 101, three rushing touchdowns, unbelievable effort. Unfortunately, couldn't come away with the victory. And of course, Carolina barely holding on with a last second field goal last week to take down the Arizona Cardinals. One team comes in, winners of two straight, the other losers of two straight. 49ers have not won a game this year, looking for their first as they come out here with Brock Purdy. Carolina looking to stay perfect and move 3-0 and oh with a win today over the Niners. It's not going to be easy. This is an extremely talented 49ers team that should not be 0-2 right now. Uh, we'll see what happens as Harrison Bucker is ready to kick us off. And we take a look down below Atlanta destroying the Saints 42-14 Atlanta stays perfect and we are ready to get this one underway Bucker kicks us off and Kramer will take this at about the one he runs past one Panther and is brought down at the 16 
And here comes Brock Purdy and this Niner offense. Of course, George Kittle still there. Christian McCaffrey. And as we take a look at Purdy's numbers, he's got one touchdown, 342 yards. Not the start to the season he was hoping for. They'll start at first and 10 here. Ball at the 16. Purdy in the shotgun. Debo to his left. Christian in the slot. They'll hand this off to Samuel, who goes off the left side. Is brought down by Nicholas Schultz. That's going to be a gain of two. Ball comes up to the 18. Second and eight. McCaffrey in the backfield. Purdy in the shotgun. This one dropped off short to McCaffrey, who has the Niners first down on that nine yard reception. Good idea there to drop it off to one of the best athletes in the NFL. I formation here for the Niners. McCaffrey the deep back. This is play action. Carolina brought pressure. It is a fumble. Yitor Gross Matos picks it up. And Carolina will have the ball at the 14 on the Brock Purdy strip sack. Carolina brought pressure. It got home. Nicholas Schultz, Jamison Carver, and Yitor Gross Matos all right there. Matos pops up on the fumble. And Carolina will have excellent field position as they're going to start within the 20. And here comes Bryce Young and the Panthers offense. Bryce, four interceptions, two touchdowns, 6 4 through the air. Those four touchdowns through these two games needs to be cleaned up. Can't throw four interceptions in two games to start the year. I don't know how we're 2-0 right now because of that. It's amazing what our defense can do. First and 10 from the 14, Sanders will get the handoff. He's got some running room as he gets six off the left side. Good job there on the first run of the afternoon for Miles Sanders. He's got six. He was bottled up most of last week. That's a very good Cardinals front seven. Sanders will take it again. He's got some blocking looking for space. He'll have the first down as he runs for five more up to the two. First and goal for Carolina. They'll come out in the shotgun now. Two tight ends, two wide receivers as Carolina looks to push this in. And Young is sacked, brought down at the six yard line. Young couldn't get it away quick enough as all the 49ers came rushing home. Now shotgun again, second and goal from the six. This into the hands of Dean, but he's gonna be shy of the end zone. Of course, Justin Dean, the fifth round pick out of Clemson. Now third and goal from the two yard line. Can Carolina get in here? Of course, last week they had it like first and or yeah, fourth and goal, third and goal through an interception. And Young gets away from that hit and has an incompletion in the end zone. Young managed to get away from the would-be tackler, try to get into the hands of the tight end Ainsworth. But he was out of bounds, and Booker will kick the field goal attempt. 15-yarder is good. Carolina takes an early lead, 3-2-0. Unfortunately, couldn't find their way into the end zone. Third. Yep, that's what I want him to say. Anyway, Bucker kicks it off. Niners will have another chance here on offense as Kramer will take it just inside his goal line. Good return here as he's dropped down at the 24. And here comes the Niners offense once again. Of course, the strip sack on their last drive. Led to three Carolina points. First and 10. Shotgun with McCaffrey and check in the backfield. Carolina getting pressure again. It's Kramer. It's Kramer. It's Carver. Oh, that was bad. As Purdy slides down at the 42. Excellent run there by Brock Purdy to get away from Jamison Carver, whose last name is not Kramer. 
First and 10, I formation for the Niners at the 42. They'll hand this off to McCaffrey, who has plenty of blocking. He's met by Vaughn Bell after he gains 11, and that's going to be enough for a Niners first down. On the run by Christian McCaffrey. First and 10, single back formation now for the Niners. They'll hand this off to McCaffrey, who has a big hole up the middle, makes a man miss, and is finally brought down at the 30. An excellent run of 18 there by McCaffrey, as the Niners just opened up all the daylight inside. First and 10, McCaffrey in the backfield with Purdy in the shotgun. Pressure and incomplete across the middle. Pretty looking for whoever number six is. Is that Ayuk? No. Who's number six? Is that Deba? No. Maybe that's Ayuk. I forget. No, Ayuk's 11. I have no idea who number six is, but he's the one who dropped the football as they hand this off to McCaffrey, who has plenty of room. Shoves away Nicholas Schultz and has another 49ers first down. Christian McCaffrey finding his groove early. First and 10 from the 17. As this goes out to Kittle, who can't make the grab through the hit. He had a sure touchdown, but Bartell knocks it away. Excellent play there by Chris Bartell. Seconds and 10 from the 17. They'll hand this off to McCaffrey, but he's dragged down by Jamison Carver. That'll be no gain on the play. Third and 10, excellent play there by Carver. Third and 10 for San Francisco. They're in the shotgun. Pretty escaping pressure just throws this out of the back of the end zone. No, but he was near him as Carver applied the pressure. Good couple plays there by Jamison Carver to get the pressure on Purdy and force the bad throw. Moody now on to attempt to tie it. Kick is up and good. We've got a tied 3-3 game here in San Francisco. As Purdy gets, not Purdy, as Moody gets the Niners on the board. Their first points of the day. Three minutes left to go here in the first. And Moody will kick this back off to K.J. Hamler, who will field it in the end zone for a touchback. And the ball will come out to the 25. Here comes Bryce Young and the Panthers offense. Let's see how well they can move the football against this 49er defense now that they don't have super excellent field position. They have super average field position as Sanders takes it right up the middle. He's got three as we take a look at his numbers from last week. 16 rushes, only 70 yards. No touchdowns for Miles Sanders last week. He was very well bottled up by the Arizona Cardinals. Now seconds and seven, Young in the shotgun. He's got two receivers to his left. This gets dropped underneath for Hurst, who makes the grab, but gets away from one defender and is brought down after a gain of five. Third and three coming up for Carolina. Shotgun once again here for Carolina. As Young hit as he threw, and that'll fall incomplete. He couldn't get the ball away fast enough, and Johnny Hecker is out to punt this one back. Excellent there played by the San Francisco defense as McCaffrey will take the punt. He'll go up the middle, look to get outside, and is brought down at the 29 by Gilmore. Of course, his rushes on the season, excellent. Hard to stop one of the best players in the NFL. 
First and 10 from the 29, McCaffrey the lone back. Purdy changing some things up here at the line. As he gets this one out to number six, that's Gray who has plenty of room as he was running away from J.C. Horn. And Gray up to the 45. A gain of 26. Excellent job there by Purdy to get out of the pocket and find his man. Speedy young wide receiver just goes down the sideline. First and 10 now for the Niners. Shotgun for Purdy. This one over the middle again. Gray has it and is spun around and down by Robinson. He's going to be inches shy of the first down marker. His second grab of the afternoon. Seconds and inches. 20 seconds left to go here. Ball at the 35. The Niners are driving. And pressure straight up the middle is not getting home. That pass intended for Ayuk was incomplete. Knocked away by J.C. Horn. Carolina got good pressure up the middle. Couldn't bring Purdy down, but he couldn't complete the pass. Now third and inches. I formation here for San Francisco. And this one is incomplete again. J.C. Horn coming back, making some excellent plays as he's knocked the last two balls away. Fourth and inches now, and it looks like the Niners are going to go for it. Can Carolina stop them here? Niners change things up at the line. Quick over the middle, and this one is caught. Gray holds onto it through the J.C. Horn hit. Horn has been targeted pretty heavily on this drive. He's come through half of the time. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. Our score, 3-2-3 three, three, with the 49ers driving in Carolina territory. We've got a close one here as we get the second quarter started. Purdy comes out under center with Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. Carolina once again bringing pressure. This time it's out and caught at the five. Brandon Ayuk. And once again, J.C. Horn in coverage. Couldn't do anything with that one. Excellent throw on the move by Purdy. And great foot dragon there by Ayuk. First and goal from the five. This is a handoff to the outside, cutting it back inside and breaking Von Bell's ankles. That's Trey Grimes, who runs in for the first Niners touchdown of the afternoon. Grimes, an excellent young running back here in San Francisco. Great blocking, good cut and move to find his way into the end zone. His first touchdown of the season. And the Niners will attempt the extra point to push their lead to seven. Kick is up and good. It is now seven, sorry. It is now 10 to three. Moody on to kick this one back. Hamler will take it in the end zone and kneel it down there. And the ball will come out to the 25. Carolina gets their next drive started here with nine minutes left to go in the second. Bryce Young in the shotgun. As this one goes incomplete, knocked away from Hayden Hurst by King. Excellent defense there. Seconds and 10, Young in the shotgun again. He's dropping back, throwing underneath, has Hayden Hurst wide open, who turns it upfield for a first down before he's popped out of bounds. 
at the 38, and that's going to be a Carolina Panthers first down by Hayden Hurst. Now first and 10. We'll hand this off to Sanders, who has plenty of room running behind Hayden Hurst. Good blocking on the outside. He's going to have a Panthers first down at the 49 as he crosses just over midfield. Excellent job there by Carolina on the run. Now first and 10 from the 49. Play action. Quick underneath for Mingo, who has it just shy of the marker. They're going to mark him one yard shy. That's a gain of nine seconds and one coming up. Ball at the 40. They'll play action again. Bryce gets this one out to Dean, who has a Panthers first down at the 27. Dean making the catch along the sideline. Third, sorry, first and 10 at the 27 now for Carolina. Bryce takes the snap and throws to Hurst, who holds on to it. Excellent ball placement there by Bryce Young to get that into Hayden Hurst. Hurst, of course, right there. Bam, takes the big hit and holds on to it. Now Carolina will empty the backfield. Everybody's out wide. And this one's going to Chark in the end zone for a Carolina Panthers touchdown. DJ Chark. See, I learned from last week when I threw that pick six. <laughs> the exact same play. <laughs> Don't throw it to Miles Sanders because that's a pick six. <laughs> Bryce Young getting it done as he finds Chark in the end zone for the Panthers touchdown. And Bucker will come out to attempt the extra point. Kick is up and we are tied one more time here. 10 to 10. As Bucker kicks this one back off to the Niners. Kramer will take it in the end zone and kneel it down. And here comes Christian McCaffrey. Take a look at his stats on the season again. Of course, three touchdowns in his first two games. No touchdowns here yet. He would like that to change. I wouldn't. I mean, as a fan of Christian McCaffrey, yes. I'd like him to score all the touchdowns. Just not what I'm playing against. As Christian will get this one and is brought down after a gain of two by Chris Bartel. Good job coming down in run coverage. Second and eight ball at the 27. Purdy takes the snap looking, doesn't have anybody throws back across the middle. That's gray again. He's gonna have the first down as he's tackled down by two Panthers at the 37. His fourth catch, he's up to 50 yards. Can anybody stop that man? First and 10, Carolina pinches the line as they get home and bring down Brock Purdy. Jamison Carver finally gets his sack on Purdy today. He's had pressure plenty here recently. Purdy unable to get away. Nearly got that ball away, but Carver hit him just at the right time. And Carolina's defense looking to put a stop to this 49er offense who's been moving pretty well recently. This one out short to McCaffrey, but he's brought down immediately by Dante Jackson. Not much going on there as it is now third and 18. Carolina wants a stop. Can they get it? Purdy takes the snap. He's getting rushed and gets it away before he's taken down by Schultz. Schultz gets the pressure. And Purdy manages to get rid of it 
And that's going to bring out the punt team. Fox on to punt this one away on fourth and 18. Flowers deep to return. Flowers will take it at about the 25, where he's going to run right into Womack and be down at the 29. There's a look at Hayden Hurst's numbers. 200 yards receiving, I think that said. No touchdowns yet for Hurst. I'm sure that will change. As this one's quick out to Mingo, but it's off the mark and intercepted by Trajavius Ward. Young couldn't find Mingo. Instead, he found Ward. His second interception of the season, Bryce's fifth as this is just thrown off the mark. As we take a look at Christian's numbers, 43 yards so far, eight yards a carry. He's been slowed down somewhat recently, but he's had a good game overall. First and 10 here for Purdy and this 49er offense. As this one gets dropped off underneath, it's Gray running away from everybody again as he's up to the 18. That's going to be a 49ers first down as he gets into the red zone. First and 10, three tight ends out there for the Niners. And this is caught by the tight end who slips a tackle and is finally brought down at the three. Excellent running there by number 81. That is Latu. The Panthers could not bring him down. And now they'll come first and goal at the three. McCaffrey in the backfield. He's met immediately by the blitzing DJ Johnson and brought down at the six. Looks like Yitor Gross Matos may have been shaken up. He's on the sideline getting some Gatorade and a stretch. Hopefully it's just a cramp. Second hand goal at the six. Switching things up here at the line is Purdy. Carolina bringing pressure again. Throws this one toward the end zone and it's out of bounds intended for Debo Samuel. And that'll bring up third and goal. Third and goal from the six. Carolina once again bringing pressure. Derek Brown gets home, bringing down Purdy at the 14. Excellent job by Carolina to bring pressure on this drive. And Derek Brown gets there. Purdy tries to get away, but nothing doing. And it looks like it's a pulled hamstring for Yitor Gross Matos. We're going to keep him out for as long as we can. Do not want to re-injure your hamstring. That can be bad. Fourth and goal from the 14. And the field goal attempt is good. We are no longer tied. The Niners take a three-point lead, 13-10. to 10. We've got a good back and forth low-scoring game in this one so far with 2.09 left to go in the first half. Moody kicks it on back to Hamler, who will take it at about the negative one. He's going to take it out of the end zone as he looks for space and gets it up to the 24. 2.05 left to go here in the half. And here comes Carolina's offense. Bryce Young, of course, through that interception. Can he go a game without doing that? We're, gonna, we're not going to find out today. As it's first and 10 from the 24, they're going to hand this one off to Sanders, who looks for room and can't find any. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. Our score, of course, 13 to 10. The 49ers in the lead as we near halftime. Second and 10 for Carolina. Bryce in the shotgun. And he loads up, going deep, looking for Mingo, who has it. He comes down with it. Jonathan Mingo goes up one-on-one -on -one and brings that one down. What a throw and catch. Bryce just 
through it with all of his strength. Mingo gets under it and makes the catch. Excellent job there, holding on through the hit. And Carolina quickly in scoring position. They're down to the 14 with 120 left to go here in the second. They're setting the screen up and it's incomplete. That was all kinds of messed up there. No good on the screen, good defense. Seconds and 10 here for Carolina. As this goes out quickly to Chark, who is absolutely destroyed and can't hold on to the football. Third and 10, coming up at the 14. Can Carolina get in the end zone? This one quick over the middle. Mingo has a block and a touchdown. Jonathan Mingo gets the Carolina Panthers the lead. Excellent job there, right over the middle, immediately turns it up and gets a block from Hayden Hurst as he finds his way into the end zone. Here's the extra point attempt by Butker. And it is good. We've got a four point lead with just over a minute left to go. Carolina, of course, no stranger to these close games. However, one day, man, it'd be great to win one that isn't a nail biter. Bucker will kick this one back. Kramer will take it in his end zone and kneel down. Here comes Brock Purdy and the offense for the Niners. Looks like the Niners are going empty here. They bring pressure and Robinson gets home for another sack on Brock Purdy. That is four already in this half for the Carolina defense. The blitzing Jamie Robinson. Purdy tried to get away, but not from the speedy safety. Now seconds and 19. This one out quick to Kittle who makes the grab. He's got a gain of seven there on his first grab of the afternoon. And it looks like the clock is just going to run down to the start of the second half. Now they're gonna get one more playoff for some reason. As McCaffrey looking for room gets the first down, but it doesn't matter. The half is over and Carolina goes into halftime with the four point lead. 17 to 13. Now we're going to take a look around the league here at the half and see what other games are going on. We're going to start all the way up in Seattle where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have not won a game. They are down three right now, seven to 10 to the Seahawks. Walker has a touchdown there. And then we're gonna go all the way to the middle of the United States, Kansas City taking on Dallas. Dallas looking to take down the undefeated Chiefs. They are up 21-11 with six seconds left to go in their half. Touchdowns by Pollard and Prescott. And then, of course, down in New Orleans, the Atlanta Falcons stay perfect behind two Desmond Ritter touchdowns and Bijan Robinson touchdowns. How, how did you go eight for 10 for 89 yards and two touchdowns? What happened in that game? <laughs> All right. G good job, Atlanta. Anyway, <laughs> I can't wait to face Atlanta. <laughs> Oh, uh, what happened? You saw like Robinson ran for like 207. Like, <laughs> did they just run the football and was just like, yeah, screw it. That's what we're going to do in this one. Gosh, Moody kicks it on back to Hamler, who will take it out of the end zone. He's got a good run back as he's up to the 28. And that's where Bryce Young is going to start.
First and 10 from the 28 for Young and Company. Nothing doing. Young steps up and is brought down by Bosa. Nick Bosa gets home, bringing down Bryce Young. That's going to be a seven-yard loss for Carolina as they couldn't find anything on that first down play. Here's the second down play as this goes out to Mingo, but it's incomplete, almost intercepted. Got his hands on it. And it falls harmlessly to the ground as Carolina is in danger of starting three and out here. Third and 17. Bryce throws this one out to Dean, but it's picked off his second of the day. This one's picked off by, who was that, Shepard? Whoa. The f was, f no, Sheard, okay. Um, what kind of animation was that from Fred Warner? Just punching down Bryce Young. Uh, another interception. What a big surprise, huh? If we still win this with us throwing more interceptions than touchdowns, man, our defense needs a raise. <laughs> First and 10 from the 37. This one quick over the middle for Samuel as he's knocked down after a nine yard gain. Second and one coming up. This one out short to Kittle. He's gonna have it and a first down. It's not a big game, but it is a first down at the 25 on Kittle's second. First and 10, Purdy in the shotgun. He'll hand this one off and in the backfield is Derek Brown bringing down Christian McCaffrey for a four yard loss. Second and 14. This one across the middle, uh, Samuel has it. And that will be a good gain as that brings up third and two on Samuel's second of the day. Third and two. Two running backs in the backfield with Purdy. As this is quick and incomplete. Had two Niners in the area. But neither of them were ready. That was, I think, Kittle and Ayuk, maybe? And Purdy will stay out there. The offense looks to try to... This is quick and caught. That is the sure-handed Gray. He's been very good today. Six grabs for him as he makes the quick reception. First and 10. Niners switching things up on the line. Carolina brings pressure this one out quick to Ayuk. He's tackled down by Brian Burns at the three. Second and two coming up. Second and two for the Niners as they look to get back into this one. It is a quick pass out to George Kittle with the touchdown. A quick and easy throw here. Just a simple three-step drop and throw it short to Kittle. He turns his head around and finds the football. And the Niners retake the lead as they look to go up three here. And it is blocked. Flowers gets in there, makes the block. And it'll be a two point lead for the Niners as they could not convert. Angelo Flowers getting it done there.
Moody kicks it deep for Hamler. He's not going to return this one. And the ball will come out to the 25. Here comes Carolina and Bryce Young. It has not been a good day for Bryce. However, he's still in it as they're only down two. They'll hand this off to Sanders, who has plenty of room. Goes up the middle for six after some good blocking there. Second and four for Carolina. Under center is Bryce Young. He'll hand this off to Sanders, who gets past a guy and powers his way forward for a first down. I don't know who tackled him, but he just literally launched him past the first down line. Thank you. Now first and 10, shotgun for Young. Another handoff to Sanders, who tries to go off the right side, but only finds one yard there. Good defense by this 49er front seven. Now second and nine, Carolina in the shotgun. This one goes underneath for Dean, who has speed and space. He stiff arms a guy away and is pushed out just before he gets to the 20. He's down at the 21 on that excellent run after the catch. He had plenty of space. Bryce Young hits him just at the right moment and Dean is gone. Excellent job there. His third grab, he's up to 60 yards. Of course, a rookie he passed 100 for the first time in his career last week. First and 10 from the 21. They'll hand this off to Sanders, who has plenty of room as he's got a first down. He gets 11 as he brings it up to the 10. First and 10 from the 10 for Carolina. Sanders pushes his way up to the five. He's going to have five on that one. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Oop, okay. Bryce Young gets out of the pocket, looks for space, and will get one yard, maybe. As we near two minutes here in this one. No, this quarter. Now third and goal from the five. Can Carolina finally get into the end zone? And this one too. Dean Buddy can't hold on. He was hit as he made the grab in the end zone. And Carolina is going to trot the field goal team out there. This is a 22 yarder for Bucker. It is good. Carolina retakes the lead this time by one point. 22 19. As Carolina still can't find a way to get into the end zone, it's been tough for them. And Bucker will kick this one back. Kramer will take it out of the end zone. And right up the middle, good return as he's brought down at the 25 by Brendan Smith. And here comes Brock Purdy and the offense. First and 10, McCaffrey in the backfield. Play action, Brown pressure, and this will just get thrown away as Derek Brown applies the pressure on Brock Purdy. Second and 10 now. This one's short and caught by Samuel. That'll be a six yard gain. Third and six, or sorry, third and four coming up. Third and four for the Niners. Carolina brought pressure and Jamie Robinson gets home again. The Niners offensive line could not hold up. Jamie Robinson gets his second. As he spins and throws down Purdy. Purdy once again almost getting rid of that football, but Robinson gets there just in time. 
And the Niners will punt this one away with under 20 seconds left to go here in the third. Fox gets this one away to Flowers. Flowers takes it, looks to cut outside and gets it up to the 40. First and 10 from the 40 here for Carolina. They'll hand this one off to Sanders. He doesn't have much as he gains one. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Our score, Carolina 20, San Francisco 19. It's been a good one here in San Francisco. The 2-0 Carolina Panthers look to push it to 3-0. Second and nine. Sanders alone in the backfield. He'll hand off to Sanders, and he's met immediately by Fred Warner. That'll be a loss of three. Now third and 11. This one open across the middle for Hurst, who has the grab and is down at the 29. Hayden Hurst found the opening in the zone and Bryce Young found him. Excellent job there. Good protection up front, giving Young just enough time. Now first and 10. Ball at the 29, Young in the shotgun. As this one is intercepted. This time, Gavin. And he's knocked out at the 39. Galvin? Galvin. Oh, he's the rookie, isn't he? Ugh. I, I, I thought he'd place it where Dean could run under it. Yep, nope. <sighs> First and 10 for Purdy. They come out in the eye. And they drop it off, but incomplete. McCaffrey wasn't ready for it, and Purdy throws it into the ground. Eye formation once again here for the Niners. And they'll hand it off to McCaffrey, who goes straight up the middle for four where he's tackled down by Schultz and Johnson. Third and six for Carolina. And this one is quick to Ayuk. Oh, Samuel, sorry, I do that all the time. And he's got it at midfield for a Niners first down. First and 10, uh, single back formation for the Niners, pretty under center. And this is quick and caught, somehow caught. And that'll be a six yard gain by Gray, who continues to have an excellent day. Now second and four from the 44. Brock in the shotgun. Another quick pass out to Ayuk, who has it? And he's got a Niners first down up to the 36 yard line. First and 10. Switching things up here at the line. It's a quick pass out and caught, but pushed out of bounds after a gain of five is Gray. Second and five. Purdy in the shotgun. McCaffrey to his right. And it's a handoff to McCaffrey, but he can't get away from Jamison Carver. Jamison Carver brings down McCaffrey for a loss of two. Third and six coming up. Third and six from the 32. 
Carolina brings pressure and open is Ayuk as he manages to get past J.C. Horn. Horn brings him down at the four. Brendan Ayuk beats Horn off the line. Good job there by those two, unfortunately. Now first and goal from the four. A quick out to McCaffrey, but he's caught. And that'll be like no gain. Now second and goal. Hand off to McCaffrey, he tries to get in, he'll gain two, but not gain enough for the touchdown. Hand off again to McCaffrey, but he's met immediately by Derek Brown. Derek Brown getting it done as he meets Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. And that's going to bring up fourth and goal from the six. The Niners will attempt the chip shot field goal. Kick is up and good. The 49ers take a two point lead. We've got 3.30 left to go here in Carolina 20, San Francisco 22 as Hamler will take this at the goal line. He looks for space up the middle and gets it up to the 24. And that's where Carolina will start this next drive. They've got just over three minutes to do something. Then hopefully that something is not throw an interception. First and 10 from the 24 for Carolina. As this one comes out all wobbly. And that'll be incomplete. Second and 10 coming up. Second and 10. As this one is incomplete. Intended for Hayden Hurst. Third and 10 is what we have now. Third and 10. Carolina needs the 34. As this one is picked off by Sheard. His second of the day, that was intended for Mingo, and it came out really low. Oh, man. Yep. Mm. This is going to be a toughie. If we can hold him to a field goal attempt, we'll be good. It is now first and 10 from the 25 for the Niners. As Purdy throws this underneath for McCaffrey, he's met immediately. That's a gain of six to Christian McCaffrey. Second and four. Handoff to McCaffrey, but he's met by Schultz. And looks like Gilmore may be shaken up for the Niners. That'll be an injury timeout. As he is gingerly walking back to the locker room. Third and two, they'll hand it off and McCaffrey will get it. Brown couldn't bring him down in time. 
McCaffrey will get the first down at the 14. And that'll bring us to the two minute warning. Our score, San Francisco 22, Carolina 20. This is a handoff to McCaffrey who has all the space on the outside and a touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, there is a flag down though. Let's see what the flag is. And it's holding on the offense. That'll bring up first and 15. The first penalty of the day. First and 15 from the 20. Handoff once again to McCaffrey, but he's brought down immediately at the 19. Carolina will use their first timeout. Second and 15 for the Niners will hand this off to McCaffrey who looks for more space but can't find any. That'll be no gain as Carolina takes another timeout. If Carolina can hold them here, all they need is a touchdown to take the lead. Third and 15 from the 19. McCaffrey gets it again looking for space, has none and is brought down after a one yard gain. And the field goal team will come out. Fourth and 15, Moody looking to push it to a five point lead. Kick is up and good. It is now 25 to 20. Once again, Carolina will need a touchdown to win it. We'll see what happens as Carolina comes down to another close one here. Hamler will take it in the end zone and kneel it down there. Ball will come out to the 25. Of course, Bryce Young has been about as turnover prone as he has been in his career. First and 10 from the 25. And this a short, quick one out to Hurst. That's four yards there. And this one's going deep for Mingo, who can't bring it in. Ward has another interception as Mingo could not fight for it. Tredavious Ward, one-on-one -on -one with Jonathan Mingo, gets the better of him. And that should do it for this one. Niners will come out ready to kneel it. Just over a minute left to go here. And that's going to do it for this one, the Niners take this one win their first of the season hand Carolina their first loss by a score of 25 to 20 now, of course story of the game is how impressive Bryce Young looked throwing to the 49ers as Derek Brown and Brock Purdy have some words all right let's take a look at some stats and it is one touchdown, no interceptions for Purdy as he throws for 231. And Bryce Young, of course, two touchdowns, five interceptions and 224 yards. Rushing, Christian McCaffrey had 58, no touchdowns. Miles Sanders, 54, another slow day on the ground. Danny Gray has eight catches for 82. Hayden Hurst, five for 68. Mingo and Kittle have touchdowns along with Chark. JC Horn, 
finishes with nine tackles. 12 for Jamie Robinson. Tackles for loss, Derek Brown with three, Robinson with two, Carver and Johnson all have two. Sacks, Robinson comes away with two. Derek Brown, Carver, Schultz all have one, and Ford, Bosa, Greenlaw, and Hufanga all have a half. Interceptions, of course, two, four, Rashad Sherd, Shahir, Shaherd, and two, four, Chardavius Ward, and one, four, Daniel Glavin. And coming out of that game, we have one upgrade here for Nicholas Schultz. We're gonna go field general for him. He's up to a 74 overall. He's get two block shedding, one strength and two tackle. All right, and that's gonna do it for week three as our Carolina Panthers fall to the San Francisco 49ers, 20 to 25. Next week, we return home to take on the Green Bay Packers. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.